So this time we will be solving a problem and this problem will contain the following key concepts from our previous videos. So the concepts are typecast, list, slicing, if condition, for loop, indexing and string. So let's see what is the problem statement itself. So this problem has been taken from a popular website for practicing programming which is lead code. So let's see what the problem statement says. Given a string s, reverse only all the whiles in the string and return it. Yeah, so we will be given any random string like for example over here lead code l w -E t c o d e. Over here we have two e's one o and another e in the end. So we have to reverse the order of the whiles and other letters as it is. So if you see the expected output you can see that this last e has been put over here and the second last while which was o has been put in the second position of the original vials. So like that all the vials have switched their places. So the vials are a, e, i, o and u and they can appear in both lower and upper cases more than once. So we also need to check for lower and upper cases. Now let's visualize what is this problem is saying actually. So if you take my name R O U N A K then you can see that it has one first while at the first index. So at zeroth index this is R. R is not in while. So at first index O is a while. At second index U is a while. Now at fourth index A again is a while. So first I have to write some program which will identify the whiles only. So when I identify the whiles, I have a list of whiles. So O, U and A and I have the corresponding indices. So O is at first index, U at second index and A at fourth index. Now if I take out those whiles from the original word and swap them from behind, I end up with a will be at first index, U will be at second index and O will be at fourth index. Then I just have to insert this reversed list of files to the original word. And that's it. I have arrived at the solution. So over here, I will start with my name R-O-U-N-A-K as the string. So if I print this, as you can see that the string has been printed, but now I need to convert it into a list. So I will say s equals to list of s. So this is a typecast. So this is typecasting. Now if I print s, so I'll just cut and paste this. As you can see, all the letters in my name has been put in a list where all the letters are elements of the list. Now since I have this list, I also need a list of files. So let's make that list. So I'll say v equals to a list which will contain a, e, i, o, not 0, o, and u. So all the five files, I have made a list out of them. So now using this v list, I can check if any element uh, of v list is present in s. But I need to do that iteratively. So let's do that using for loop. But I'll also need two more things. One is where the whiles are, so the indices for the whiles and the list of whiles themselves. So let's make two empty list to store these two information. I'll make two lists v index and v value. So let's write the for loop. So for i in range length of s. So length of s will return the length of the list which contains all the letters of my name and we will iterate over this range. So let's check for any while if So using indexing, I am taking the ith index va value from the list of my name and then I am converting it to lower because as you can see 
the list of files that I have created, everything is lower. But in the input list, input string, there can be lower or upper case characters. So to be safe, I am using dot lower method. And using the in keyword, I am checking if that letter is inside V. So first, uh, when this loop starts, I will become R and it will see if R is in V. No, R is not V. So it will skip. Then it will go to O and check if O is in V. Yeah, O is in V. So O is a while. Then the if condition will become true and it will continue inside this scope. So whenever I get a while, I have to do two things. I have to store the while itself in the list of while values and I also need to store the indices inside the while index indices values. So this will contain the while position in the original uh, input string. So v underscore val and v underscore index are ready. So let's see what they are containing. As you can see that v underscore index is containing 1, 2 and 4 which is the while positions for uh, in my name. So at first index there is a while, then second index there is another while and fourth index there is another while and all the whiles have been also collected inside the v val. So o, u and a. Now let's reverse this v underscore val. So for that we will be using slicing. Now if you are not familiar with any of the methods used in this solution, feel free to check out our previous videos. All the methods have been explained in great detail. So only one thing is left that is to insert this reverse list of whiles uh, in the original list. So for that let's use another for loop. So over here I am inserting at each index that uh, the whiles are originally from in S the values of the reverse list of whiles. So over here S of V index I. So for I equals to 0 V index of I will become 1. So at S of 1 we are replacing the value with V val of 0. V val of 0 will be the reverse list of the whiles in my name. So first we will replace it with O and so on. Now only one thing is left that is we have to make that list back into a string because originally our input was a string not a list. So we have to return as a string. So for that let's use join method. So over here I am using a empty string to access the dot join method and I am joining all the elements of S to this empty string. So that's how my output is becoming a string of the list. If I print this output, you can see the expected result is over here. So if I try the other examples, for example lit code. As you can see the output is expected. So over here the E has been replaced with the end of the E and the O which was the second last while has been replaced at the second while position and so on. So if I use hello you can see that this code is working perfectly fine. Thank you for watching. So next time we will be solving another problem and after that we will move on to functions.